Good morning and welcome. Doing a very special reading this Sunday, the 2nd, January 2022. For all you single devils out there, single devils read. The bottom of the deck <laughs> is the Nine of Cups, appropriately enough. So let's leave. This speaks to a single who is uh, emotionally self-contained, emotionally mature. Um, and you're coming in, this is your energy here, at the Four of Cups. I can't see it in the shadows there. Um, this disinterest. Um, this was someone that I would say is like almost to be funny about. It's like super single. Like you could be posting on Facebook how, you know, you'd rather have your nine cats on your lap than ever have a man or a woman again or whatever, things like that. Um, so you definitely don't get have the feeling of someone. It's almost like someone, why would you be watching a, a, a reading? <laughs> but, you you know, hey, love makes the world go round. I think it's how we learn mainly our spiritual lessons. So like it or not, you know, I was thinking recently, I don't think there's anybody much more isolated than I am. So, so this can be too, at least emotionally, hold them back in, in this. But this is your more or less past position it doesn't really show the energy to me of when you meet this person what it shows me is kind of good in that you weren't one of those people out there desperate and needy and oh please you know give me give me um, you were pretty emotionally self-contained which also emphasized by that nine of cups on the bottom of the deck so I kind of can see his face if I give it in this uh, wow good yeah, it's almost kind of smug, definitely strong, you know. Um, so that's okay. I mean, I don't think it's a good energy as anything. So what I see here is a predictive read. This is the number two pers uh, position, which should be your person. In this case, it's the person coming in. And the time frame here is January, January 2022, guys. Um, and this is going to be your Taurus personality. Um, we got the Pope here, the uh, hair font. So um, this is what you could have. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, you know, Taurus dominant somehow. Like I have an Aries girlfriend, but her Pisces moon is everything about her. You know, I'm a Sagittarius guy and take my, my Cancer moon is everything about me. You know, so we can't exclude in a general reading like this. I can bear down on it. We're doing a personal reading, but you know, that which of those energies it could be expressing. But in terms of a love reading, one of those. Uh, Venus, not out of question. It's very strong in Taurus. So this card, here's the three cards, shows where you are and how you're feeling about them. You know, I'm trying to get an honest assessment. You may know how you feel, but it helps me to get on board here to understand how that is. And it helps me put it together. And then this is your person, an honest view. How do they feel about you? And you make them feel like the queen of pinnacles. And that's a man or woman's not the point there. Uh, it's a very strong, if, if, if anybody's in this position and they're feeling like any of the kings, but king, the queen or kings uh, of pinnacles, I got to say it's a good thing, you know, for you anyway, for your person, for the cross watcher. Uh, because, you know, um, it, it doesn't show any kind of, uh, um, you know, narcissistic energy, the, all the worries that you might have. It doesn't even show an unhealthy relationship. Uh, it kind of gives me that feeling because here you over with the nine of pentacles. So um, you're really, in terms of manifestation here, you're drawing this in, um, you single devil, you. Um, by just really, I mean, look, you've got the Nine of Cups, and now you've got your reaction to them is the Nine of Pentacles. Well, that's perfect. So even though you're attracted to someone, you're going to be meeting this someone, and they're, you're both pointing at each other. You're pointing into the reading. Your person's pointing into the reading. Um, you're going to greet each other with a lot of respect, and I believe, and I'm not just saying this to suck up to the single devils or two or three who might actually watch this. But, you know, these are high-functioning people here. 
You know, your person coming as the hair font too, that means something. It's someone that has some kind of accomplishment, uh, some kind of authority to their person, to their being, some kind of substance here. And you're the same. You know, you're meeting them very strongly. Um, now, and you're uh, also very powerful. Uh, this is the number uh, five card here, or six card here. And it's going to show what spirit's going to give us a suggestion to you about this particular relationship, about this person, about how to best sort of relate to this person is what I'm asking from this one. And the six of cups is all kinds of good. Emotionally, it's just really feeling flowing and natural and good. That's why it's the soulmates, like when you're with them. This is spirit saying this. I have a lot of trust in this position. And it's really saying um, there's a soulmate connection. Um, and it's um, just kind of uh, perceived. <laughs> I don't, there's, there's, everything's like fine in this whole reading. We'll get to this nine of uh, wands here. Now your person's coming in with their suggestion for how to deal with you is as this queen of wands. So very interesting. So they they need to drop your person if they're listening. I'd love to have this shared. The phrase I want to say, they need to drop down into their passion. And, and uh, they, they might be a little uh, rigid, a little uptight, this kind of thing. They, they'd say that in some way. Um, and they may, um, you know, you, and this is advice for you is to really drop into your emotions too. I mean, that has to be said. Uh, so there's a similarity because then we're bringing into this through advice of spirit here in all three of these positions. This is their advice for you, your advice for them, and your advice together, okay? So both of you are being asked in, in a similar way, drop your person, drop down into your passions, and, you know, it's a vulnerability to this, you know? And you drop down into your emotions. I don't even feel there's going to be a sense of vulnerability with you. I just get to sense possibly with your person because they're so in control all the time that for them just to just to let go and be passionate. If I was going to give them advice, it would be just really go crazy and get have fun sexually and let go, you know, and really enjoy what might be this really great connection. Um, now, this is the wounded warrior and being here in the crux of the heart spread. Hey, babe. Um, he is... Uh, my girlfriend just came home from the store, but we don't have much... So, uh, you know, this is uh, both of you now. Uh, they're going to have to be making some kind of effort in this relationship, and you will. And I think in some fashion, be led by your person because they've got both of these kings here. Um, while you're stable and everything, they might be the one that has more, uh, you know, more wealth and more stability in their life. Uh, there's going to be some kind of a battle here that's going to have to be fought. Actions that are going to have to be taken. Um, maybe a lot of them. It's something to do, I believe, with you guys coming together. This is like pretty clear. Uh, this is not a subtle, uh, like reading, difficult to interpret. And thank you, Spirit. I think that usually means it's meant to get through, uh, you know, such as it is. Because look, the outcome is the world card. I mean, this is amazing energy here. Um, for an outcome of the heart spread. And that's why I said at the beginning, you know, these, this is two people of maturity, uh, two people of wisdom, two people of substance, both, you know, spiritually, maybe even physically, you know, monetarily in every fashion coming together. And the only thing I could say about this, as powerful as you may be in yourself and should be and all of that, uh, as good as it is for you, because uh, I think both of you are like, uh, you particularly here, uh, you know, uh, are coming in, uh, really being self-sustained and everything and self-contained. So uh, when you come together, if somehow you're going to be great or you're going to complement each other in a, a strong way. It, you know, it's like, I got to say again, I'm not really trying to blow smoke up your ass, uh, you sexy devil. Uh, but kind of what this would indicate to me is like you really, you're not coming together and one's compensating for the other's weakness. You're both 
uh, there kind of is no weakness. So what you're doing is you're coming together and you're adding to each other's strength. So this is why literally when you come together, you will actually be stronger even individually than you were when you were apart. Bless you, my love. I'll be right there. So thank you, guys. Uh, and uh, Sexy Devils, do uh, hit a like. I really appreciate it. it helps the reading a lot. Uh, congratulations on the world here on the second, the new moon, on the new year, 2022. 2021, may I just say, don't let the door hit you in the ass. And goodbye. And may you go to your greatest good, 2021. And do subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, guys.